Hi, now we are in the second questions for subtopic power. Okay, and this question is uh, concerned more on the instantaneous power. Okay, instantaneous power. A car of mass 1500 kilograms starts from rest and accelerates at 4 meters per second square for 5 seconds. It then moves with a constant velocity of 20 meters per second. The Total resistance to motion is 550 Newton. Find the instantaneous power of the car at time 2 seconds and also at time 6 seconds. Right? So information given here is the mass. Sorry. The mass itself. The mass of the car. Starts from rest. So that means initial velocity is 0. Acceleration. Uh, for five, five second, uh, five second, the constant velocity twenty resistant to motion. So this is more to friction. Uh, find the instantaneous power. So we want to find instantaneous power. Uh, power instantaneous. Uh, at certain time. So we have two time slots here. Okay. So we have a. Uh, Two seconds and six seconds. Now it's better if we draw a graph for these questions to represent the motion. Okay, so we draw a velocity time graph to show what happened. So from um, it start from rest. So the velocity start from rest increases to twenty. Uh, from zero increase to twenty in five second time so from zero to five okay from zero to five zero to five second it has acceleration uh four meter per second square you see it has acceleration it has gradient it has acceleration velocity increases from zero to 20 meter per second okay and then after that the velocity is constant uh, after that it then moves with Constant velocity 20. So you move with constant velocity 20. Acceleration 0. So the first part, it has gradient. Acceleration 4. But the second part, constant velocity. Acceleration 0. Right? So we want to find power at 2 seconds. Ah, we must identify where is 2 seconds. So at 2 seconds, uh, what's the velocity? We don't know. We have to find out. Yeah, using the kinematic equation. So, uh, two seconds is around here. Huh? We don't know the velocity. But at six seconds, it's already after the five seconds. Uh, huh? The six seconds is over here. So, it has, uh, this time, it, the car is already moving at constant velocity. So, at six seconds, the velocity is 20. Velocity is 20. At six seconds. Okay, so it's easier with a graph. Now, to find instantaneous power, we have to draw a free body diagram. Uh, okay, and this is the free body diagram we draw. So at two second time, okay, what is the uh, forces that acting on the car? Okay, so this car. Uh, it has the force of the motor going forward. Uh, we must draw a free body diagram. To find instantaneous power, we must draw free body diagram. I will tell you why later. We must draw a free body diagram, show all the forces acting on the object. Uh, just the x-axis enough. The y-axis, uh, not necessary. Uh, because the friction already provides. Unless the friction, it just gives you the coefficient. Then you have to find a normal force. To find normal force, and then you need to, to draw the y component. So this time, the friction already gives you. So no need to draw the y component. Okay, Just concentrate on x component. So on x component, we have the force of the motor forward and the friction going behind. Uh, and then acceleration forward for we must also draw the velocity uh, velocity forward we must draw this because why because we need to later we need to find angle theta 
between velocity and force. Okay? Uh, so, to find instantaneous power, the formula is power equal to F dot V. Uh, dot product is using cos theta. Uh, but since this one is the, you want to ask about the power of the car, power of the car, so it's a power of the motor. Power of the motor. Yeah, this is the power, uh, this is the power of the motor. So, to find power of the motor, we use force of the motor. Force of the motor dot velocity. Uh, so, instantaneous power is only the power at 2 seconds. Power at that time only. Okay? Because pa instantaneous power, the power changes according to the velocity. Velocity changes with time when it is at acceleration. So, different time has different velocity. So, different time, different velocity, different power. So, instantaneous power is power at certain time. So, for part A, it want the power at 2 seconds. Okay? So, we need to find the force of the motor and also the velocity at 2 seconds. Okay? So, how to, do, to find the force of the motor? Uh, so, we use the Newton second law. Total F X equal to MA. Because in X component, it has acceleration. So, it has resultant force to the right. Force of the motor is bigger than the friction. And uh, now we apply the sign for direction. Follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative. So put a sign there. Put a sign there. Follow acceleration is positive, opposite acceleration is negative. So we can say force motor is positive because follow acceleration. Friction is negative because opposite acceleration. Uh, so just write that down. Okay. Fine. Uh, F motor is positive, negative the friction, okay, uh, friction, and uh, mass A. Uh. Now, uh, force of the motor, we can find the force of the motor. Friction is 550, mass given is uh, 1500. Acceleration is 4. Uh, acceleration is 4. So, force of the motor is equal to... We got the force of the motor. 6550 Newton. Uh, that's our force motor. So, we got the force of the motor. Now, we want to find velocity at 2 seconds. So, velocity at 2 seconds. Uh, we have the initial velocity... Uh, initial velocity is 0. Acceleration for the time taken is 2 seconds only. So find the final velocity. Alright. Initial velocity is 0. Uh, time taken is uh, 2 seconds from 0 to 2 seconds. Acceleration is 4. So what is the final velocity? Uh, so just use the formula. V equal to U plus AT. Right. V equal to U plus AT. So, um, U is 0. And then uh, 4. And then time is 2. So, we have uh, 8 meter per second. For the velocity at 2 second. Uh, this is velocity at. Velocity at 2 second. Okay. Uh, so, we got the force of the motor and also the velocity. So, uh, now just substitute inside. Okay, force of the motor is 6550. Velocity is 8. Force, uh, so, angle theta. What is angle theta? What is angle theta? Theta is angle between force and velocity. Uh, that's why we need to draw the velocity. So, angle... Uh, and theta is the angle between force and, and theta is the angle between force and velocity. This two, yeah. Theta is the angle between F and V. Uh, so F and V, they are they are same direction. If same direction, then they are zero degree. Okay.
uh, and cos cos zero cos zero is one. Okay, so what's the answer you get? Uh, after multiply, I get uh five point two four exponent four what? Yeah, that's the answer. Right, that's the power at two second. Uh, so you see, ah, uh, uh, there's similarity between power and work done. Yeah, uh, for instantaneous power. So if we want to find power, we use the f dot v. If we want to find work done, we use f dot s. Uh, so if if work done, here we draw displacement. We draw we draw displacement, and the angle theta. Angle theta is the angle between force and displacement. Uh, force and displacement. But if for power, the angle theta is between force and velocity. See, it's, it's the same thing. It's using dot product. Both use dot product and both use uh, both use dot product and both also using cos theta. Okay. So in this one use velocity. Power use velocity, work done, work done use displacement. Okay, work done use displacement. Now, okay, let's go on to the question uh, part B. What happened for the instantaneous power at uh, 6 seconds? So at 6 seconds, there's no more acceleration. No more acceleration. This is important. At 6 seconds, no acceleration. The acceleration zero, but velocity we know it is twenty. Yeah, velocity is constant because acceleration zero. Velocity is constant at twenty. Uh, so we also use oh sorry, this one should be uh, so power at six second. Okay, so we also use f dot v force of the motor, force of the motor, power of the power of the car is the force of the motor times velocity so fv cos theta yeah force of the motor only now uh velocity we already have we already have the velocity which is 20 yeah uh, at 6 seconds the velocity is constant already uh, 20 but we have to find the force of the motor uh, so we also use the newton's law this time is newton's first law because no acceleration acceleration zero Acceleration zero means it is equilibrium. Uh, this object is now in equilibrium. Equilibrium means what? No, if no acceleration, zero acceleration, constant velocity, zero acceleration means force, force to the right equal to force to the left. Okay. Uh, if no acceleration, we just put uh going to the right positive, going to the left negative. Okay, and then we find out the force of the motor. So force of the motor is positive and then friction is negative. Okay, zero. Uh, so you see, force to the right, motor equal to force to the left, friction. Uh, so force of the motor is also 550 Newton uh, because it is same as the friction. Okay, no acceleration, no resultant force. Resultant force is Resultant force is zero, no acceleration. Okay, so this is force of the motor, just substitute inside, and we are good to go. We got the answer. Velocity is 20. So, what's the angle between force and velocity? So, between force of the motor and the velocity, uh, they are same direction, parallel to each other, so cost, cost zero. Yeah, same thing. Cos zero degree, uh, and cos zero we know that it is uh, cos zero is equal to one. Okay, and finally our answer is um, our answer is um, one point one zero exponent four watt. That's our power at six seconds. Uh, power, you see, power at 2 seconds is 5.24, but power at 6 seconds is 1.10. So, 
This is what it means by instantaneous power. The power depends on velocity and also the force at that time. Different time has different force motor and different velocity. So resulted in resulting in different power at different instant. Right? So okay. So that's all about power. Uh, so thank you for joining the videos and hope to see you again in the next upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye.